Haven't these last three months been crazy times? I don't know about you, but sometimes I felt like I'm a clown juggling a thousand balls. My husband's the minister here, and there's been all the pressures of helping to look after the church community. Live streaming church, recording music, Zooming prayer meetings, Zooming Bible study, making sure the older members of our congregation are cared for and connected. I'm a grandparent. My second daughter and her husband and two young children live right behind us, and we've continued to be involved in caring for them. Our oldest daughter and her husband, with her 13-month-old twin daughters, moved in with us the week before COVID isolation. We have four young adults living with us at the manse here in Balmain, who have all been separated from their families in regional New South Wales, interstate and overseas. There's definitely been a touch of the circus at the Balmain manse. My day job is as a GP, where I'm a senior doctor in a practice of 12 doctors. And it's been my responsibility to help put in place all of our infection control protocol as well as manage the stress of our doctors and staff and look after a caseload of patients with sickness and anxiety. I don't know if there's ever been a time in my life where I felt so out of control, but I know when I look back on my life that these times of being out of control are actually a mercy from God because they cause me to rely on him. They make me recognise that I am not in control of everything in my life and I need him as my refuge and my strength and my security. One of the delights of the last few weeks has been my older ladies' Bible study groups. They have so loved being able to meet together again. And we've been looking at the book of Colossians and one of the verses we have really loved looking at it's Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 to 7. Let me read it to you. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. We looked at these verses and we tried to work out what might be the guidelines for growing in maturity as a Christian? How do we root ourselves in him and grow up? Firstly, we thought that we need to practice thankfulness. We need to see God's mercies in the world around us, whether it be the mercy of living in a country with a wonderful health system, stable government, and great social security compared to the rest of the world. Whether it be the mercy of being able to stay connected with our church community through technology. The mercy of our families and our friends, those who've prayed for us and cared for us, dropped us meals, talked to us over Skype. God's mercies, they're out there if we're looking for them. Secondly, we need to challenge our thinking. We need to practice CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy on ourselves as Christians. We need to look at the circumstances around us and recognize them for what they truly are. God is not out of control. He is a faithful, all powerful God. He has his purposes. He knows what's happening. He knows what's ahead and he knows what's best for us. People do care for us. We are loved and we are important. These are the truths that we need to challenge our thinking with. Thirdly, we need to keep up our communication with our God, which involves prayer, talking to him, coming to him over every circumstance of our lives on a regular basis. And fourthly, we need to hear him speak. We need to remember God's promises found in his word, which involves being disciplined to some extent in reading his word, meeting together, having Bible studies, memorizing scripture, so that we know those promises, 
that will hold us in good stead when all the balls are falling around us. I pray for you all as you continue through this time of COVID isolation and as we come out the other side, that you would continue to be rooted in him and grow up in faithfulness, overflowing with thankfulness. Thanks. Bye.